Hey guys, this is Oral Daphne. <clears throat> My name is Beth. I am back again for your January 2015 monthly tarot horoscope. And this is your uh, mid mid month uh, horoscope. Okay, this is to check in with everybody and see how you guys are all doing. Um, thank you so much for all your lovely comments. I'm I have a hard time getting back to people um, through the comments because there's just so many. But, um, you know, and also I um, have been very busy doing, and that's why I'm a little bit late on these videos. I've been very busy doing private readings for people. If you want to have a private reading, um, I am still doing them. And um, it's you can email me, ElizabethOlson31 at gmail.com. And... Um, I'd love to get you scheduled. Um, so basically, I don't have Facebook and I don't have a website. So in order to get private reading, we just um, I'm just doing it by email, and you can just email me and um, and say hey, and I'll be like hey, you know I've got such and such a time, and then then we'll just go from there. So um, I had to stop my computer for a minute, but I did shuffle and I did roll out a spread for you guys. So this is for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Aquarius. And, um, I am wearing a magical scarf that I got. My birthday's on the 25th. So this, I bought myself some pretty earrings and a beautiful scarf for my birthday. And I hope that, um, you guys have a wonderful birthday. Cause I know that we're, um, everybody, all the Aquarians are having their birthdays starting now. So, um, and everybody is probably celebrating and is really excited. Uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do for my birthday yet. Um, but, um, I thought I'd buy myself something nice. And I, I normally, as you guys know, don't do scarves. <laughs> and it's so funny. I bought myself a magical, another magical scarf, but it's just so soft. I just was like, I have to do it. So, uh, and I cut my hair, not because I really wanted to have short hair again, because I detest short hair, but because I went and had my hair cut and she messed it up. So I came home and I cut it. I was mad. Word of the wise, not a good idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, anyways, okay, so everyone with their sun, moon, or sun in Aquarius, this is what I got for you. So... I started with what's coming in from the outside, what the universe is sending you. They are sending you a love letter. They're sending you a relationship. They are sending you romance, but also this can also be friendship. This is important for Aquarius because Aquarius need strong friendships. This is a guy and a girl. This is the two of cups. And for everyone who has a difficult time, like, kind of understanding these cards, uh, I'm going to be posting a link to uh, Stephanie Pui Moon Law's uh, website. She's the artist that made, you know, made these cards. And um, they're very, it's a very popular deck. Uh, and she has amazing artwork. So I'm going to be posting a link to her website so you can actually take a look in more detail each card. Um, but... This is great for for um, for you guys. I mean, it just means that you guys are supported right now. Supported, loved. Um, if you don't feel that way, <clears throat> um, and if you're like, well, I haven't met anybody yet. Well, <sighs> chances are, if you haven't met somebody yet, you're going to. If you have someone like, I would say, in mind, then it has potential. Okay, it has potential to go somewhere which is awesome. Okay. And if it, you have like sort of developed strong friendship for someone, this is them. Okay. This is real friendship. This is like real love. This is like, there's love in the friendship. Um, I mean, and it's strong too. It's a strong, it's a strong feeling of love. Um, but it's not, doesn't have to necessarily be sexual. It can be just more platonic friendship that has that has the element of love there where you just love each other you just feel like they're supportive of you and you're supportive of them and um but it also can be a long-term relationship a romance you know where maybe you start dating someone or somebody you cross paths with someone that it's unexpected you know and they're good looking and you're like okay i guess i'm dating again you know uh could be could be that um I feel like predominantly you guys just have a very strong friendship with someone because Aquarians have very strong friendships. 
So I feel like that's really what this card is talking about. Um, now, in the distant past, you got the uh, world card, which is a great foundation. I, I see this as, and I talk a lot about the foundation card as being really important for, for everyone, basically. Um, the thing is, is this, this card d does, the person that this card kind of embodies is someone who does have psychic gifts, who can see the future, who can, they may have several clairvoyances, they may only have one clairvoyance, but they have intuition and insight. And Aquarians are naturally psychic. Aquarians naturally have intuition and insight. So, <coughs> excuse me. So to me, this is also though about being able to have everything you want. This is happiness, family, abundance, wealth, love, um, the world being your oyster, which is really awesome. Um, so right now is your time. I think I mentioned this in my, my January one, not this is mid January, but maybe, you know, this is really your time. Um, uh, and you have a strong foundation. That to me signifies, you know, maybe you're, you're settled in where you, you're finally settled in where you're living, or maybe, you know, you're settled into, um, a relationship of some kind. Um, but there's people around you that do love you. Um, to me, it, it more embodies the potential, like the pearl in the oyster, you know, that pearl, like, you know, you being able to achieve that it's achievement it's having it all it's having everything in one pearl it's um it's beautiful actually it's really beautiful and um i like to see that for you um and then not, not so distant past uh, the recent past you know i feel like you're waiting on something you're waiting maybe on a relationship to develop or a business to develop or um, something is going on that you're kind of waiting to, to pluck the fruit from, you know, it's sort of just like, and it kind of drives Aquarius crazy to wait. There are, there's two cards that have to do with waiting. The card in the recent past and the card of where you're, the track that you're on right now. And this is a very, this is a kind of the only thing that's like remotely negative in this whole spread. It's really where the track that you're on right now. And you're waiting for your ship to come in, or you're waiting on a person, or you're waiting, um, or you're just feeling really alone. And there's this sense of deep loneliness and sadness and sort of like, you might even have like bouts of kind of depression or bouts of just feeling like overwhelmed with things. <clears throat> and, um, this, you know, this could be a Pisces girl, okay, because of the fish. And a lot of times it comes up as, as Pisces. But, you know, you may have some Pisces also in your chart, Aquarius, um, strong Pisces. If you don't have strong Pisces, to me, this is just negative emotions, feeling really lonely. And it's kind of strange to me that you're feeling this way. And what I think it is, is I think that you're, see this girl, she is turned away, okay? She's turned away from something. Maybe she's, you know, trying really hard not to think about a certain person or trying really hard to avoid someone. Or maybe, you know, and, and she's, I kind of feel like she's turned her back on love. This is kind of what my feeling is. Aquarius, you kind of have said, you know what? I don't really feel like getting into a relationship, you know, they're kind of just like, mm, I've had enough, you know, part of you wants it. Part of you doesn't want it. Part of you is like, I'd like to have love and romance in my life. But the other part of you is like, why bother? It's such a pain in the ass. You know, that's your feeling. You're just like, why should I fucking bother? You know? And, um, <laughs> I think of this as being, I call it being despondent and disgusted with the opposite sex. You know, you could be a male Aquarius watching this and having a difficult time with either a male or female in your life, you know, 
Uh, you may be a female watching this and having a difficult time with either a male or female in your life. Or just having a difficult time with relationships and understanding why people are suck so bad. You know, why do they suck so bad? Why do people lie? Why do people cheat? Why do people, why are just people so inhuman? See, Aquarius is, their mind is constantly boggled by this question. Why are people so horrible sometimes? It just blows an Aquarius's mind. It's like, you know, and, and, and the thing is, Aquarius is just, just you know, their temperament, temperament is just like, it is, it's, it's interesting to me, Aquarius' temperament, because on the one hand, Aquarius are the humanitarian. They can't understand. They're trying to fathom why someone would be so bad to other people, you know? They're good psychologists, because they're deep thinkers, and they like to analyze. And so it, it, it's kind of mind-boggling for them right now. For you guys right now, this is how it, how it is kind of right now. You're just kind of like, you don't necessarily want a full-time relationship, you know? For some of you, maybe dabbling in more part-time relationships or relationships that aren't going to go anywhere, but it's not going to do any good because you're just going to end up being frustrated and alone anyways, and so it would be better to actually get into a... I always say, you might as well just have a real relationship if you're going to get into a relationship, period. You might as well reap the benefits of a real thing rather than just being in something that's not real and something that just sucks so bad. Um, but you're, you're just kind of like, you just kind of want your, the things that you're going through your head, you're just like, just be straight with me. Aquarius is, are very straightforward. You know, you want people to tell you the truth. You want people to be real and honest and caring and loving. But the thing is, is in the past or your experiences you know, with th this is what it's telling me here. Your experience has have shown you that people aren't necessarily good and people don't necessarily have the same viewpoint as you do in relationships, you know? And some people don't use integrity and some people just um, are pretty freaking horrible sometimes. And so this is your issue. This is like the biggest issue that you're having right now. And the universe, strangely enough, is so, so it's sort of like, she's turned away. I'll just put these up together. She's turned away from this. She's turned away from love. And the universe is sending it to her, sending it to you, okay? Um, you know, male Aquarius too. I mean, this is you guys too. Um, there's, the universe is saying, guess what? You're gonna, don't worry. You're gonna have romance and love in your life and it's gonna be good. Um... For those of you maybe who don't even want a regular, you know, a, re a relationship or a romance, this may, like, again, be a friendship, somebody that's in your life that shows you that it is possible to love and that there are good people out there and that um, not everybody is going to rape and pillage your, your emotional stability, you know? Um... And ironically, the thing that's crossing you is the joy card, is jumping for joy. So this is feeling really good. You know, you may have some extreme, you may be having some really peak moments and really low moments. During the day, things are great. In the evening, not so much. In the evening, it's, you know, you crawl into bed and you're lonely. You crawl into bed and you're like, oh, why, you know, why don't I have somebody in my life? You know, the bed is really cold on the other side, you know, uh, things like that. Um, if you're not even really interested in relationships or in love, um, just know to me, this is also just the universe is supporting whatever you are doing right now. And so it's very positive, irregardless of your relationship status. You may already be in a relationship, you know. You may may have been in a relationship for some time. Um, but universe is supporting you. Um, so, okay, so the female Aquarius is, I feel like predominantly, you are suffering from extreme bouts of depression and loneliness. Male Aquarius, is, you kind of are having a high right now. You're kind of riding high. Um, you're having your moment in the sun. You're having victory. You are, 
I feel like you're getting a lot of attention because the sun kind of represents, in my mind, Leo, and Leo is just like, you know, like a movie star or uh, someone who's in the public eye, someone who's doing big things. It's just sort of like, you know, you're getting, you're garnering a lot of attention and focus. And to me, this is also like the flash of the light bulb. So it's just like, the universe is shining the sun energy on you guys right now. The Aquarius males, okay? Aquarius females, you may also be having some peak, a peak moment. You may, again, I feel like for the females, you are peaking, but you're having these lows. For guys, I feel like you're peaking, but um, it's more of, uh, I feel like you're riding off into the sunset, whereas the females aren't necessarily riding off into the sunset. I feel like the females are are jumping for joy and then crying, jumping for joy and then crying. Um, the guys are just kind of cruising, cruising out, you know, into the sunset, which is different. Um, you have a lot of bright sun energy right now. So this is really, really positive. It's interesting because this is a spread for Aquarius and you guys have a lot of fire energy in this spread. So some of you may actually have, you know, a lot of strong fire, you know, uh, planets in your chart uh, or signs in your chart. Um, some of you maybe have, like, I feel like Sagittarius or Leo or um, definitely Leo or even Aries. I feel like some of you just have a lot of this. You're on fire right now. You're like girl on fire right now <laughs> or guy on fire right now. Um, it's a great, I think right now it's a great time for Aquarius in general. It's just a great time. Um. What's right around the corners, which you don't see coming, is you need to kind of work on your temper. You need to work on your blood sugar and your temper. And you need to find harmony and balance. Everything is right for you right now is about balance. This is also a Libra card. So for those of you who have some Aquarius Libra combinations, this is also you. Because, you know, you may, again, it's sort of like, I just seeing extremes, you know, extreme, you know, maybe getting really angry, uh, getting really sad, you know, um, you know, some of you may be spending a lot of time alone and you need to kind of, I feel like you need to get out more, but during your time alone, try to be productive. You know, I feel like you're being productive, but I think the problem is, is that you're, <sighs> you're sort of like you have like an inner battle going on. You emotionally, you've got this inner battle. Okay. And I think it's over this guy. You have this guy in your life that's, you know, you're, you've got, con you've got inner conflict about. Um, this is the King of Wands. This is a very strong character, very energetic. You know, he may have Aries, he may have his ascendant in uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. He may be actually a Taurus with some Leo, or maybe a Taurus with Aries, or some kind of combination um, there between those. Um, he may be, um, just, he may be younger. Um, I think of this as the lawyer card. Um, but to me, this is also determination. Um, so some of you, some of you are really like having a conflict about this person or with this person, it's an emotional conflict. Some of you may be actually having um, an actual like altercation, okay, which is unfortunate. I don't feel like that's it though. I feel like this is more about this emotional conflict. Maybe, maybe you just want to be with this guy, you know? Maybe you just really like this guy. You want to be with him, but for whatever reason, um, you can't be with him, um, or <sighs> he's very busy and he doesn't have as much time for you right now. 
Um, I feel like there's an element, too, of him where he is just kind of going, going, going like the Energizer Bunny. Um, but there's something going on about this guy. This guy is like, you know, he's under your skin. And you're having maybe a difficult time getting over him. Or maybe you're having a difficult time dealing with him. Or he's just someone in your life that's like causing you to feel up and down, you know, over and out, basically, you know, and it's not really like you to have this. Aquarians are more, I feel like they're more streamlined. I feel like Aquariuses do have highs and lows, but I feel like this guy is like bringing out this frustration in you, this sadness in you, this longing. It's like, it's like a combination of things. Maybe he pisses you off on one hand, but you know, you think he's amazing on the other. So it's just, it's conflicted. And because you got the lover's card to, to, next to this guy, I feel like he is that guy for females, um, or even for males, he is that guy. Um, the guy that <laughs> you're meant to be with, the guy that you're supposed to be with, you know? But he's frustrating you right now, and you're having a difficult time with it. Um, for those of you who are not in relationships, not interested in having relationships, and if you don't have this person, I feel like emotionally you're very determined right now. Um, you're very determined to get what you want. That's the main thing. Um, and it may be that you're determined to have love in your life. And you're determined to have good people in your life. And you're determined to um, kind of just, I feel like some of you Aquarius are determined to stay in solitude until you're darn good and ready to get into another relationship. Some of you don't really care. Like you're just like, I don't care. I don't want to be with someone who screws me over. And you're just like, I've had enough of it. And I'm just going to stay in my quiet, in my solitude because it's a safe place to be. Um, yeah, that's all I'm getting for that. And then, um, there is, emo uh, not emotionally, the, um, well, this is an emotional card, but this is, um, your attitude and your attitude is, um, you have feelings. I feel like you have feelings for this guy. I feel like there's this guy that you have feelings for. If it's not a guy then this is hope. This is um, the beginning, the increase in financial prosperity um, after much lack and much hardship. I always think of this as the desert card because this is the card where you go into the desert and it hasn't rained for centuries and then suddenly two minutes go by and the clouds come in and you feel this raindrop on your nose and you're like, and then another one, and another one, another one, and you know that it's going to rain. And so, um, at one point you were, you were having hard, you were in hardship and maybe a little bit, you still are. Maybe, you know, you have some debts that have kind of crept up. Maybe you have some collections that have kept crept up. Maybe taxes have crept up and it's just like, you know, you feel like maybe you haven't been able to get ahead. But the thing about this card is, this card is being able to get ahead because it's going to rain and it's going to be, you're going to be, you are really in a very prosperous time. Um, so whether you feel it right now or not, my feeling is, is that your finances will are and are improving and have improved from the past. Chances are 2015 caused you significant financial stress and hardship. Um, but these things are changing. So I feel like, especially for mid-January going into February, this would be a good financial time for you. Um, and it's funny because all the all the um, the videos I've watched, you know, the other psychics that have done things, have really all said, planetarily, this is a great financial time for Aquarius. And I agree. So I concur. Um, so, and then the final card is this... Freedom from worry card. Um, six of swords, which is, um, to me, it's this little boy who can't sleep. And um, the swan comes to his window and is like, you know what? 
I can see that you're having a difficult time sleeping. And I can see that you're maybe having very intense, you know, dreams that are waking you up at night, or maybe you're just really stressed out. You've been really stressed out. You've had a lot on your plate and I'm going to help you out. So the swan says, you want to go for a ride. I will take you to the land of sleep and, you know, be there for you and watch over you all through the night. And so the little boy says, yeah, sure. I'll get on the, I'll get, you know, I'll go to the land of sleep. No problem. And, um, he gets on the back of the bird and suddenly he is fast asleep and, you know, getting carried away from his stress. He's getting carried away from his um, sleeplessness. He's sleeping through the night, and he's he's feeling much better. So I feel like the last two weeks we're going to have in January, you're going to be sleeping better. If you haven't been sleeping good, you know, I feel like you need to uh, go to bed at an earlier time, wake up at an earlier time, and not get up so many times in the middle of the night. I feel like a lot of you are getting up a lot in the middle of the night. So you need to like stop doing that. You if you're um if you're having sleep issues, it's because you're staying up really late and you're not getting to bed when you should. Um but I feel like going forward this is this is also just moving away from from people or circumstances that have um that have really dragged you down that had been not fun or pleasant to deal with. And you're like, it, it, you're going to be like over it is what I'm trying to tell you. Um, I feel like that's all for right now. Let me see if I pull one more card. Oh. To me, okay, so you got um, you got two two cards here. I pulled two cards. Maybe I'll pull a third. Okay, so you got three cards here. Three cards. Um, the first one, I kind of just, I pulled a couple of these cards because I just feel like final messages are good, okay? Um, this is the emperor. You guys got the emperor, which means that there are things that have happened, I feel like in the past, and maybe this is what's been going on in the first part of January where fate has come in and said, it's not happening. Not right now. It's sort of like the universe has intervened, um, and you've given a lot up to God and God has stepped in and said, okay, this is how it's going to be. This is not how it's always going to be, but this is kind of how it's going to be right now. Um, and it's timing and things aren't going to happen in the way you want them to happen. This is where I sort of like, you give up the control and you're like, okay, this is, this is me giving you this control. And, um, and I'm just going to step back. This is you stepping back. So in the beginning of January, there's this little element of you stepping back and being like, okay, maybe this situation isn't the best for me. Maybe God knows best. Maybe I should just take a step back. Maybe you didn't get what you wanted. In the beginning of January, maybe there was something or someone that you didn't get. You didn't get what you wanted. And you really wanted it. And um, God took it away from you. But at the same time, it's for your highest good, is what I'm feeling, um, and, and, and hearing, and um, it's better this way, is what I'm also hearing. So for whatever reason, maybe you didn't get what you wanted, maybe the relationship that you had started or, 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 or were thinking about starting, it didn't work out, but it's better for you, for right now anyways. That it is the way it is right now. Um, and what's going on kind of like at this moment is you need to, and maybe you are, again, taking a break from the action. It's funny because we've got two waiting cards. 
this feeling of not really wanting a relationship, but relationships coming in and frustration over a certain person. And you're kind of in break mode. You're kind of in like vacation mode. Maybe, you know, you've been thinking about going on vacation. Maybe, you know, this is like you taking a time out, you know, time out and saying, okay, a lot has happened and I'm going to process this. To me, I always think of going on vacation in this. So some of you actually may be going on a trip. Some of you may mid-January um, to early February may be taking a trip. I think of this as more about sitting on the couch, snuggling up with a comfortable blanket, watching a movie and drinking some tea. That's kind of how I see it. So it's not as much about action. It's not as much about... Um, Doing, 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 going, going, going. This is a time for Aquarius to recharge. Um, and again, it's funny because I feel like this is what's come up in all these other videos. And I hate to be redundant. You're like, you're like, Beth, give me something, give me something good. You know, tell me the real, the real deal. And I'm telling you that right now is a good time to recharge. Right now, it's the pause. It's that pause to meditate. Pause to just kind of collect your thoughts. You know, I think it's partly, partly because we got this retrograde happening and things are slowing down. And so it's important for you to kind of just go with that. Don't try to control things. If something is taken out of your life, it's because God has taken it out of your life. It's because the universe has said, no, uh-uh, not right now. Or, uh-uh, not like, not yet. Or, uh-uh, this is not good for you. Um, and the final card is the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles, to me, this is in the future. So I would say beginning of, end of, very end of January, early February, you're going to be juggling two things. Um, the juggler is all about, it may not be you juggling two things. You may know somebody who's juggling two things, like the person in your life, um, it may be, or, or people in your life, maybe more than one, um, may be juggling two jobs, two relationships, um, if you should be, you know, wouldn't you be so fortunate to have, I always say, to have two relationships to choose from, you know? Uh, that would be awesome for you, Aquarius. Um, I don't feel like this is really relationship-oriented. I feel like this is more career-oriented. Um, you may have two projects going on. I feel like there's two, like, I guess I'm seeing creative projects. Um... And you just have a lot on your plate, a lot of responsibilities. You're working, you're working hard on things, but you are juggling things. And so, um, you know, try to stay on task, try to stay organized. Um, there's an element of risk, you know. You don't want to drop the ball, per se, okay. What you want to do is you want to... I, I guess what I'm getting is shrink the ball. Okay, so instead of like you having like this plate that's full of all this stuff, you want to like shrink it, shrink it, shrink it in your mind so that it's just a much smaller plate with things on it, you know, and so you don't see it as being like I, I call it lumping things together. So you don't see it as being so overwhelming. Um, and also... Shrinking it means, um, I would say, dissolving one of the things that you, the main, there's two main things you're working on. Dissolving one of those things, like, slowly but surely over time. So it's not like you go from having two jobs and, you know, quitting your job on one of them on the spot to go work at the other or try to make it work with the other. No, it's more about transitioning from doing um, doing two jobs or two things to one main thing um, slowly over time that's re being responsible uh, there's a financial element here so make sure you're left watching your finances make sure you're not um, overspending um, I guess that's what I'm getting But, uh, but keep a lookout. I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to end on this. Keep a lookout for the romance. 
Keep a lookout for people who really love you. If there's people in your life that really love you, do what you can to love them back. Do what you can to make sure they know you're, that you appreciate them and cherish them. And, um, and yeah, it should be a good uh, last couple weeks. So um, should you want to do a private reading, feel free to email me at elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments and, um, the, you know, subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it so much. And all of your emails to you guys have, so, a lot of you have written such beautiful emails. Just, you know, just absolutely amazing. And I just feel so blessed. So thank you. Thank you again and, and have a wonderful birthday. And I will be back again for my February uh, 2015 uh, videos. So talk to you soon.